Well, hello and welcome back, and thank you for coming back. Well, we're not in downtown Cato Paphos, that is for sure. We're up in the spectacular heights above a place called Tala, which is uptown Paphos, and we've come to see something that's very, very special. I'm going to introduce you to Misochi and Grisivia Labouf, and she is going to tell you what it's all about. Here she is. Grisivia? Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. Today we are in the loveliest place for all the loveliest place in whole of Cyprus. This is how I believe the bless of God let come down and bless you all, our dear watchers. Let's come. So where are we, Chrysivia Alavu? Saint Neorphitos Monastery. Right, so there we go. We come up to a monastery in uptown Paphos district and we're going to storm the gates. And as tradition goes, well, we're going to follow the rear end of Casivia Le Bouf. Have a look at that. A very, very nice place indeed. Very calm, very tranquil. And some great, great views are going to come up and some nice gardens. And it really, really is a very, very nice place indeed. So if you're coming down to Paphos on your holidays or perhaps you live in Paphos and you've never, ever been here, this is a spectacle in itself it was built obviously a long long time ago and you should come and spend 10-15 minutes and have a little walk around and perhaps you will gain something and take something with you back to wherever you may have come from have a look at that this is the main entrance area very very well maintained property indeed as is normally the case when you go and look at religious buildings. So there's paths going off this way and that way. I think we'll go that way, Grisivia we'll Lebouf, yes, and see so what's going on. We'll show the view down here. Let's yeah, go and have a look at yeah. this view. Because obviously this is carved into the mountain side, high, high above the Paphos town. It's a bit murky today, unfortunately. So there's not a lot that we can see. But there is a V there in the mountain and obviously if you go onto the roof of the building which well we would in normal circumstances but this is a church so we won't in this yes, case yes yes so down here we've got the toilet facilities that they've constructed for the visitors to come and have a look this is that area down here and there's rubbish bins everywhere i don't want to use that word but you know i don't want you to litter the place when you come here please if you bring a can of coke with you put it in the bin show a bit of respect because it's a beautiful beautiful place and it's also a place where the monks come up and they tender to these lands and as you can see down there they are growing various bits and bobs so it's almost self-sufficient and it's a very very nice building indeed we're going to try and grasp some of it it's hard on camera obviously but have a look at some of these beautiful structures as we come round. And we're now going to try and go up some stairs and get some even better footage, that's for sure. And as we get higher, hopefully, we're going to get an even, even better view. Come on, Grisivia, let's follow your rear end. There we go. So, stick with us. This is the biggest monastery, certainly, in the Paphos district. There are one or two scattered around, but this is the biggest, as far as I'm told. If I'm wrong, please correct us in the comments. I mean, have a look at this now. As we've risen up, look at that. Truly, truly is beautiful. So let's go and have a wander over this way, Grisivia Labouf. And then we can come back up those stairs, I think, and then come across that wall and back around there. And hopefully we can actually enter into the old church itself. And it's something special, that's for sure. Have a look at this view now. Across the mountains, very, very nice. And there certainly is a calmness up here, that's for sure. I do think somebody is touching it, and it's carved into the mountainside. You wait for this. Look at that, as that structure is bedded into the rocks. Wow. That's a lot of work that was done a long, long time ago. And you do wonder how some of these crafts and that knowledge has been lost over time. Now a bit of chipboard and a sticky plaster and, and we're done. That's a work of art. Have a look at that.
Wow, very, very nice indeed. Come on, let's follow your rear end. We can see the booth. There's a priest up there. And let's have a look from up there because I think it's going to be something very, very special. Off you go. Receiver booth all concerned by the amount of film. Well, whether we are or not, we're going to. So that's an overflow for when the uh, river in the mountains overflows and it comes rushing down there. Otherwise, of course, it would flood the mountain size and cause damage to the monastery. This is old. Have a look at these steps. <laughs> An absolute star, open and welcoming. Great, great guy. Inside. Correct. No cameras around inside. We understand that bit. That's the same in lots of these places. Have a look at that. Absolutely spectacular. And we understand why there's no cameras allowed inside. There's works of art in there. There's gold, there's treasures. Those things are worth a lot of money. So that shouldn't be on film. And we respect that, that's for yes, sure. Of right, course. come on, receive the booth. This is pretty old and there's a great, great booth. Press the It's a great, great booth. Have a look at that. It's beautiful, beautiful, yeah. And if you understand the work that's gone into it. Right, let's get back down Grisivia and get across those walls over there. Very, very welcoming man indeed. So stick with us, here we go. And hopefully you can grasp the oldness and the old work that's been put into this. This was done many, many years ago, and it's a beautiful work of art, that is for sure. There's a bit of modernness been put into it, but most of this work was done a long, long time ago. So stick with us. We are now going to storm another entrance and see what's going on. Receive your booth. It's coming up the rear end. What have you got to say? It's, um, it's amazing, you know, every square meter of it makes you to feel so calm and uh, accept that when you come here if you have a chance to come here every day for 10 20, uh, 15 minutes you feel so relaxed it's something above here that the tranquility 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 which makes you so calm do you feel this yeah there's definitely a calmness to the area as i said on the way up it's definitely been touched by something that's for sure there is something always special when you visit this kind of monument wherever it be in the world and whatever religion it is in homage to and i think most people understand that so with all respect to all religions when you go to certain countries you should always go and study these monuments these great great monuments and appreciate the work that went into them perhaps you don't want to follow the religion I mean I don't follow religion if you understand me but I understand the work and the architecture and the style and the effort that has gone into this and that homage to that great belief shall we say so stick with us let's follow the rear end of Grisivia Le Bouf as we storm this part and hopefully they'll let us enter the museum So that's Just a gift for shop. You to show something, uh, because some of the tourists may come here without any good dress up. So the okay. shoulders ha shouldn't be not open and the not very short, uh, short dress or skirt. Mm -hmm. As a sign they of respect. Sure they have these robes in order to drop yes. on you okay. and in order to show the respect to the place. Yes. So if you come in a bikini for example that would obviously be the extreme they would request you to wear one of those robes and to be honest i don't think many people would turn up underdressed but if you do don't worry about it if it's a last minute thing there's something for you to put on and make you into suitable attire shall we say anyway this part's obviously newer or some parts are or some parts have been renovated as we can see and this obviously is accommodation for the monks. Let's pop up here because, again, we are climbing higher and higher. And possibly we may get a spectacular view. So stick with us. You never know. It's possible. Here we go. Stick with us. Well, it is a better view. There we go. So down through the V now, we can see downtown Cato Papos. That's what we're looking at. That's for sure. I'm not sure which hotel it is in the distance, but that's one of the big boys. So, 
that was worth ignoring the sign that's saying don't enter. Let's follow the rear end of Priscilla Booth and let's get into that part over there. And then let's kind of look at the museum. So that's the entrance over there into the main church area. Again, we're not allowed to enter and film. So as a sign of respect, we won't. We do understand that there are icons and works of art in there. Obviously, there are their own websites which will show those. But they don't want people like us wandering around filming it, giving people ideas of, well, you understand where I'm going, places to come and commit a little bit of theft. So stick with us. We're going to go around the back. And there is a museum area. Again, they probably will not allow us to enter. That's the bishop's car there. That was donated to him in, nine, in 2009 by one of his parishioners. And I know that for a fact. And that's the car he knocks around Paphos in. And he drives very, very slowly and very, very carefully. And he has a lot of respect for other drivers, as you would expect. Let's pop into there and follow the rear end of Brasivia Le Bouffe. Look at that. Wow. Now again, this part obviously is rather old. Some of it's been renovated, obviously. But again, there's a great calmness, there's a coolness. It is very, very nice indeed. Let's pop out and have a look out of that glass window. And we will see if, again, we perhaps can get a view. You never know. Stick with us. There could be a spectacular view. It's possible. Yes, there is. Have a look at that. So that's all the way down to Paphos. Great, great view yeah, indeed. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. So stick with us as we pop out and try and capture some of the As we try and grasp some more of the beauty of this building, it's truly mind blowing. It's spectacular. And bear in mind, a lot of it is very, very old indeed. And that's all the way up to the very, very top. And again, this has been carved out into the mountains. Some nice tranquil gardens. Birds all over the place. Yeah, like that tree. Truly beautiful. Truly beautiful, yes. Absolutely spectacular. So stick with us. Here we go. Again, some more orna ornamental gardens over there. And as we go around the perimeter, and hopefully out of this window down here, hopefully, again, we will get a truly, truly spectacular view. But I can't stress enough how tranquil the place is, how calm the place is. And on top of all of that, you've got some very, very nice views indeed. So stick with us. Let's have a look out there. It's beautiful. Trees are in the way on that one. It's so beautiful. View? You know how nice air is going around here. It it's here. a nice flow. And it's so nice to be nice. here. Then you feel more calm. Yeah, so it's a nice flow. So stick with us. We're now going to pop down and get ourselves back to the main entrance. And obviously, as tradition goes, it will be time for the very, very nice good tree. goodbye. We'll see the booth so has fallen in love with the tree so again. Long. She's got a so thing about tall. trees. Look. There we are. Very, very well tended tree. And a last and a look at that rather beautiful or an ornamental garden. Very, very nice indeed. So stick with us. We are going to mosey on down, give you a final look at the church. There it is. Now we'll work our way back to the main entrance and try and grasp a little bit more of the beauty, the spectacality, and above all else, the calmness. It truly, truly is a very, very nice place indeed to come. So stick with us. So, Grisip Yellowbeef, what do you think? You know, I am uh, so satisfied of what I have seen because um, nowadays it's so much hustle and bustle, as you say. And to go away from all this hustle and bustle, to come here for 10 or 15 minutes, it doesn't matter, you're religious or not. You just come in here and you feel, let me say, renovated, different person. Yeah, I think those are the correct words. Terminology is not quite correct in English, but yes, you've got the understanding of what she's trying to say. It's calm. It's cool because we're up in the hills. There's no thoughts of violence, tranquility. It's all around us. It truly is this 
as if the place has been blessed by the hand of God. And we understand that all religious monuments to whichever faith it may be, wherever around the world it is, have that same vibe and that same sense. So wherever you are on your travels, in this case you're watching a video about Paphos, so, but wherever you are, whichever country you go to, it could be very nice and calming to go and visit one of their religious monuments to the God, as we say. And you can take with you then some calmness and some tranquility and some beauty into your life and, well, hopefully, we'll all become better places. Now, as we go to leave, we're going to storm the entrance the wrong way and follow the rear end of Grisivia Le Bouffe. And I'm pretty sure that she's going to give us a very, very good bye indeed. It was just so beautiful that this is of the moments when I say that I swallowed my tongue. Uh, people, you should come here, you should enjoy the driveway, and then you should enjoy this tranquil places all the time wherever you look wherever you go non-stop we would like to tell you many many thanks for watching us we would like to tell you to come back and see another of our nice videos and madnesses you know why because we're loving you to it and many kisses Bye -bye. so all that's left me to say is thanks for watching of course if you do like what you see please hit the like click subscribe and come back a little bit of our madness we're going to show you the car parking area because of course outside here there are gift shops and there's a cafeteria restaurant on the corner so it could be a day out if you understand me obviously if you come in here to sightsee you're probably going to spend an awful lot longer in there than we are you're obviously going to go in the museum and you're obviously going to go in the church if you're feeling thirsty or hungry before or after that would be the place to go very very busy indeed it serves ice creams it serves food and of course it serves drinks if you want to go and buy memorabilia and gifts that's on that side over there and as tradition with lots of these developments these religious places in cyprus when you're entering the main entrance there are people selling local produce or icons to the religion so it's a great great place to come for children people of our age shall we say as well and anyone in between great great place and that is the entrance area and that to the right is the cafeteria area and a very very nice place indeed beautiful in fact my breath has been taken away yes mine too thank you very much for watching and um, don't forget that we're loving you and don't forget to come back as we said before many kisses from me and mr paul Thanks for watching. This is the Neopetus Monastery and it's a great, great place to come. That is for sure. I'm going to get over here and show you a site plan and you can understand exactly what you're coming to see. There's also a bus stop here. So again, you can come up here on the bus and there is a nice picnic area. Yeah. Very, very nice indeed. So that's what you're coming up to see. And... There is a bus and it's the bus 604. There we are. So downtown Keda Paphos, bus 604, all the way up here. And that bus probably runs every hour. So don't worry, but it's not that far to get a taxi, to be honest. It's only, should we say 10 kilometers. So in a taxi probably costs you about 20 euros each way. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Are you waiting for the bus? Yes, I'm waiting for the bus. But I've got I'm a, going without you. But I've got a car. One way ticket. What's your name? My name is me, Marika and me. Right, I've been deleted. Thanks for watching.